This video discusses the structural stress analyzer used in the Tech Design, Engineering, and Stress Analysis course, Lab Vault number 40016-90. The stress analyzer allows students to test structures to see how much force they can withstand before breaking. Students use data collected from these exercises to design and build a truss bridge. The courseware guides students through the activities. To begin using the stress analyzer, put on your safety glasses. Turn on the power to the stress analyzer by using the on-off switch located on the back of the machine. Open the safety shield. Remove the square metal stress plate from the analyzer by slipping it from the small hole to the larger hole and then lifting it over the head of the long screw. Place the hole of your test beam over the head of the long screw in the traversing rod. Rest it evenly on the metal support pieces located on each side of the long screw. Be sure that the metal supports are an equal distance from the center screw. Place the larger opening of the stress plate over the head of the screw, then slide it to the smaller opening. Tighten the screw with your hand or a screwdriver. Close the safety shield. Make sure that the safety shield locks in behind the two black knobs in front of the stress analyzer. Press the left side of the mode button, select, until the display shows the desired mode. Available modes include incremental mode, unit mode, maximum force mode, and continuous mode. In this example, we'll choose continuous mode. Press the right side of the mode button to set the stress analyzer in continuous mode. Press Cycle Start to begin loading the test piece. When the test piece is loading, do not touch the stress analyzer. The stress analyzer loads the piece until it begins to break. It displays the force needed to break the test piece and how far the center of the piece has deflected from its original position. Students record these values to determine the effectiveness of various structures. Press the Cycle Start button to return the traversing rod to its home position. When the traversing rod stops moving, remove the test piece from the stress analyzer. Students test other beams and structures in the same way. Turn off the power by using the on-off switch located on the back of the machine.